Harvard epidemiologists are warning that eradicating COVID-19 from the United States may take a lot longer than anyone wants to hear. As Louisiana broke above the milestone of over 1,000 coronavirus deaths on April 14, that day, Science Magazine published Harvard's findings, which basically said Americans could see COVID outbreaks as far out as the year 2024. The Harvard scientists are suggesting that some form of social distancing, some form, may be necessary for another two years. Leo. This is a question for you and Congressman Bo. I'm going to let the Congressman go first then. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you saw the Harvard study that came out Tuesday, and it said that uh, these epidemiologists said that it looks like that we're going to have to continue watching this, even if it's, it's apparently eliminated the virus through the year 2024. And they're recommending social distancing through 2022. In fact, it's going to take that long to get a vaccine. In your discussions with the White House, have they discussed that scenario or this study and what would be the plan? Through social distancing, we've seen that we can reduce the spread of the disease, and, and it's been very successful. But we also know you can't keep the economy closed for six months or until 2024. There will be no economy left. Uh, and, and do we want to see 25% unemployment? I don't think that's where we want to go. And so we know we've got to be smarter about confronting it. And so it's not a question of whether or not the disease is going to go away. Of course, just like the flu comes back every flu season, we expect that this is going to boomerang back again in the fall sometime. And so you've got to start taking those precautions now. We have not had in, a, in our conversation with the vice president and the president any specific discussions about that particular study. Um, but as, as these studies come out, I'm sure that they will inform what the CDC does in terms of the guidance that, that they give us. Louisiana's Department of Health conducted its own study to model infection rates based on scenarios without medicine of a no lockdown restriction baseline, that's in red, then social distancing in blue, and finally shelter in place in purple. Naturally, the projection curves of infections and hospitalizations flatten the more people stay home. Based off LDH's projections and working with Don Pearson at Louisiana Economic Development, Governor Edwards Thursday announced the creation of Resilient Louisiana, a state commission charged with finding answers to how and when to restart the state's economy. The commission will include Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Now that the urgency of stopping the pandemic seems to have subsided, at least for now, residents suffering from cabin fever are chomping at the bit to get back to work. Despite stay-at-home orders still in effect for two more weeks, traffic steadily increases across the state. In Louisiana, thoughts are never far from socializing, getting outdoors, and the promise of football season, which is only four months away. The heads of sports leagues, you can imagine that the NFL, the NBA, on down are all having conversations about how can you have large gatherings. Uh, that's their business model. They've got very smart people, as we speak, working on really good ways to come back while safely allowing people to go into a sports arena to watch the Saints play, to watch LSU play. And so we're going to learn from all of the different, we're all talking to each other. Everybody's got good ideas about how to do it, but the, the real remedy is to get the economy opened back up as soon as we possibly can in, in a safe way. At the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, Leo Honeycutt, WLFT Louisiana News, Baton Rouge.